Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on how to be more productive in the morning and become a morning person. So I hope this video is helpful in you becoming more of a morning person and being more productive in the morning. So I've just got so many tips that I can give you. So I hope these are helpful and I'm going to get straight on with this video. So the first one is go to bed earlier so you can wake up earlier. So obviously that makes quite a lot of sense. Obviously it's not as easy as that, but obviously just try and get into more of a routine of going to bed a little bit earlier so then you can get up earlier and then you won't be like tired during the next day. Next one is try working out in the morning. So obviously that will wake you up a lot more like as soon as you've woken up if you do some exercise, it will wake your brain up and obviously it is good to do some exercise as well. The next one is prepare the night before what you're going to do the next morning. So obviously being prepared is going, you're going to know exactly what you're going to be doing the next day and in the morning. So obviously that's going to make you more productive because as soon as you get up you already know what you're going to be doing and you're not going to like try and like organise or plan or what you're going to be doing at what time or whatever. It's already planned and ready for you. The next one is trying to have some time in the morning away from your phone. So obviously I know like most people are not going to want to do that, but obviously it's quite good for your like mind to be not like kind of like just attached to your phone and like any notification you're automatically just going to go straight to it. Obviously it like just puts a little bit more like structure into your day and obviously it is quite good not to go on your phone first thing. Next one is eat a substantial breakfast to start your day. So obviously it is important to have something that's good for your body because obviously it's like whenever you have a test like when you were younger kind of thing like your parents will already like always tell you to eat like a good breakfast or the teachers will always tell you like to have breakfast because your brain will work better when it's had like a good breakfast with like all the nutrients in it because then you won't be hungry and you won't be like not having any food the next one is don't snooze your alarm so i know obviously that is very tempting but obviously it's not good to be productive if you're just snoozing like you're just snoozing your alarm basically just don't snooze your alarm because obviously that will like decrease your product Activity and it's going to make you more like less motivated to want to get on because you've already like got up later than you expected the next one is make your bed first thing because obviously that is going to motivate you more because you've already achieved something first thing as you just got out of your bed you've already achieved something for the day and obviously it's a good habit to get into because it's really ready for the next night when you're going to go to bed because then it's already made and you don't have to worry about remaking it so the next one is slowly get yourself to wake up earlier week after week so obviously you don't want to go straight into it like you don't want to just wake up tomorrow and be like i'm going to get up at six o'clock because that is quite a lot for your body to like think about and it's going to feel like it's going to feel like quite a lot you kind of need to take it in like more like baby steps and do it like gradually so if you normally wake up around like 10 like tomorrow like try and wake up at like 9 45 and then like the week after like 9 30 and then just keep going down within like 15 minutes until you get to the time that you want to do so obviously i know that is quite like a long process obviously if you are going to be going to work or school so you're gonna have to do that a lot quicker you might just have to do it like day by day kind of thing if you have enough time so that's why i also think it's very important to plan ahead so then you're already ahead before you even start so just do it more gradually so then obviously then you can be more organized and be ready and your body's not going to be as shocked of like waking up like six o'clock tomorrow when you've been waking up like 10 so the next one is think for the positives of waking up earlier so think that you're going to be having more time in the morning or you're going to be having more daylight or just any positives that you think associate with waking up earlier as obviously that is going to motivate you to want to wake up earlier and be more of a morning person so the next one is have a set time for lunch so then you know when you need to finish everything by and when you're going to be eating as obviously i know sometimes you can get really carried away and then obviously it could actually impact your night routine as well if you have like a set like eating and night routine as obviously it won't like if you don't keep on the schedule obviously you won't you still might not be able to get everything done that you need to get on so obviously having a set time for lunch is very important so then you know what time you're going to be eating next so the next one is don't slow down just because you think that you have more time so obviously i know like especially when you have like holidays like half terms and that it's like you kind of just slow down you have like a couple things that you want to do then you end up leaving them all to the last minute because you think you have so much more time than you do where it's like it's just good to like just kind of get on with it straight away so then afterwards you can look and you can be like, oh, I do actually have some time to do something I want to do now. Obviously, if it's not the stuff that you want to be doing. So just don't slow down just because you think you have more time because obviously it doesn't always work out. The next one is create routines that enable you to wake up earlier and obviously make them that make routines that you can actually stick to. Because obviously that is very demotivating if you are doing a 
routine that you actually can't stick to so the last one is reward yourself for doing well because obviously that will motivate you and you will appreciate it a lot more that you've actually stick to it because you are like rewarding yourself everyone wants to reward themselves in any way obviously that could be like watching a movie that could be um like some chocolate or a treat if you like you just don't want to like laying because obviously that's like defeating the point of being a morning person but Obviously, just do something that will reward yourself for obviously doing well and being productive in the morning and bec becoming more of a morning person. As again, obviously, like normal, if you have any other tips that you think could help to be more productive in the morning and becoming a morning person, obviously comment them down below if you think it will help anyone else, as obviously that's... I want this to be more of like a community where you can all help each other as I don't want to just be like preaching to you what you need to do. If you have any more videos that you'd like to see, could you comment them down below as well? I'd really appreciate that. So thank you for watching, could you like and subscribe if you like this video, you can click on the notification bell if you want to see more of my videos. So thank you for watching, bye!